Hi guys, so we're looking at VEX 51S on the 4 hour chart and then I'm, I'm anticipating to get like some cells on this instrument and then we have this high here and we have the lowest point around here. So initially the price action is boxed up and then we're just focusing in this area here whereby we look for selling opportunities in this area here and then we look for buying opportunities from here to that point. So we're just focusing in this uh area here this overall move within here that's where we're just going to be focusing on in this current moment and then what i'll do is that i'll draw up like this current market structure whereby we have this ascending channel around this point here we have this ascending channel on its own i'm not going to like add each and everything here i'm just going to pattern separate just because i'm a big fan of pattern separating each and everything so this is the pattern separation that we have we have the overall 90 percent rule and what i'll do is that i have this area here as a pattern extension around this point and then what i'm currently expecting is for us to get like the third touch at the top of the structure of which it's around this point here you have a clear push up creating a third touch and then that is where we look for selling opportunities up to the third touch at the bottom or we get continuations up until the overall 90 percent of which is around this point and then if you look left you'll see that this is in line with this double top major double top around that point so if we get like the third touch from that for us to get like those selling opportunities up to this point it would be nice so let's just put this back here and let me just fix up like my analysis just like this and then switching to the hour chart let's see if we can get like something on the hour chart come on so on the hour chart we can clearly see that this is a pattern extension this is a larger pattern that we are working with so this is where we just do like our forecasting but normally since i started like on the four hour chart that means that i'll be using like the 30 minute or the 15 minute for our my entries so the price action is still intact as you can see here we have a clear push to the upside and then this is our middle section and then we expect another push to the upside to create that the touch that i was talking about like at the top of the structure and then let's check the 30 minute time frame and see if we can get like something that we can work with wow so on the 80 minute time frame let's see so as i was saying on the one hour chart that this is our middle section i'm just going to draw it out so that you can get to see what i'm talking about this is the middle section whereby you can take like short term buys up until the top of the structure like let's say you take like an entry around here for a buy you know that this buy may end like around this point and then you get like those selling opportunities so let's get to the forecast so the forecast for this one is pretty simple what i'll be waiting for is a clear corrective move to the upside the same way that it's currently doing let's say we have like this type of price action moving structurally so let me just fix that let's see we have price action moving structurally just like this uh, let me do this so we hit the, the touch and then we get like a clear push to the downside or let's say we hit like the third touch from here and then after hitting the third touch you'll notice that we have an ascending at the top of the structure a pattern within a pattern just like this then what i'll likely do is that i'll take like a risk entry at the top 
of the structure just like this and then your entry is just at the top and then you must have like a candlestick confirmation let's say you have like an evening star or an engulfing candlestick pattern and then you have your stop loss just above like this area here and then you are targeting the overall 90% rule of the pattern within the pattern the third touch and the overall 90% rule and then going further to the downside and then the second entry there I'll I will take if I miss like the uh, risk entry that is when I'll be waiting for some type of a clear push to the downside six to eight hours tight flag and then we are still in the green zone so we still have like time to enter like on the lowest time frame using like the AFT you can enter like on the five minute time frame and then this is the tie flag that I'll be looking forward to taking. And then you must have like clear tops and clear bottoms whereby everything is flat so, so that you can get like a clear uh, target and a clear risk to reward. So that, let's say this is the tie flag that we are taking. And then our stop loss is just above. And then you use like a sell stop instead of a market execution. You use like a sell stop. And then knowing that you are targeting the third touch for about 2.6 percent and then the 90 percent rule for the move it's around here in this point here and then it's not like if you get like uh if you don't get like the first entry around here and then if you don't get like the second entry the move is gone you can initially wait for a larger flag around this point whereby it's the same as this one but a smaller version it's the same as this one but a smaller version whereby you can just take the entry just like this let me just show you and then this is the red zone whereby you get like those larger flags obviously and then you take your cells on the third touch and then your stop loss is just above and then you're still targeting the same targets that we were using so for this one if you enter like on the third touch on a larger pattern it's about seven percent and then this one is about 4.3 percent so the reward is different if you take larger flags you get like some higher risk to reward like for example if you take like a risk entry at the top and then your stop loss is just above here the risk to reward will change very slightly you still have seven percent as the same as this one at the bottom and then knowing that we are targeting the lows of which is the overall larger flag 90 percent of which it's around this point here for about 15 percent the first one and the second one it's about 20 percent so that is how i'm looking at vex 75 vex 51 s and then if you want the broker that i'm using for these uh instruments you can just use the link in the description below and i'll see you on another video